Hey guys, how are you? I hope you all are doing good and welcome back to another video. Today I am back with another amazing custom ROM for our Redmi Note 11 and this time this is the Pixel Experience Plus Edition and it is working pretty much good. Today in this video I will be showing you how you can install it and is it uh, stable for daily usage and I will also show you its Geekbench scores and uh, I will also tell you if it is the king of this stroke android so without any further ado let's get started as you can see here this is based on the android 13 and its security patch is also all the way latest 5 november 2022 so without any further ado let's get started before starting the video make sure to subscribe my channel so as you guys know this is the king of the uh, stroke android because this is uh, the official uh, pixel experience from from google and uh, as you can see here it is pretty much clean and smooth uh, the home uh, UI is looking pretty much good because I uh, just uh, customized it by myself by just adding uh, some widgets from the widgets option as you can see here a lot of widgets uh, are available to be added on the screen and you can edit it out and customize your own screen and from the left you can access the Google feed and uh, at the top we have the wallpaper and style from here you can change the wallpaper pre-installed here we have a lot of wallpapers as you can see here you can also download the live wallpapers and apply them so you can apply them as well by downloading them after the wallpapers here we have wallpaper colors from here you can change the wallpaper colors you can also get the basic colors you can enable or disable the dark theme you can also enable the themed icons and you can change the upgrade from the for the home screen and as you can see here the theme themed icons looks pretty much cool and it just uh, matches uh, the color of your wallpaper and it just looks pretty much beautiful isn't it and uh, in the home launcher here we have the pixel launcher pre-installed with some minimum settings and uh, after it in the applications we don't have a lot of junky applications pre-installed we only get the needed applications and if you want more application then the play store is available in this room go into this and you can download any uh, application or game so if we talk about the camera so in this room we get this simple camera pre-installed you can capture the photos and take videos from this camera you can also scan the documents uh, but we don't have a uh, portrait mode and all other advanced features in this camera but if you want for portrait mode and all other like night mode and all other advanced features then you can go for a gcam from the play store or our website 925modes.com and uh, other than that i have uh, the geekbench scores right here let me show you the results from history and as you can see here it just scored a 375 on single core which is pretty much acceptable and uh, it scored 1476 on multi-core which is not bad but it is uh, lower than the uh, stock MIUI scores but it is still acceptable you can do gaming on it as well so here we also have the safety application pre-installed and we also have the recorder now let's dig into the settings and let's check if we have any customizations first of all in the quick settings here we have uh, the simple quick settings of android 13 as you can see here at the end at the bottom we have the setting option power option right here and then we have some shortcuts you can edit it out and at the top we have the brightness slider and some other shortcuts and at the top you can check the uh, date, time and connectivity options and the battery estimate right here and in the settings first of all we have a network and internet, connected devices, apps and uh, then we have notifications, the battery, the battery performance is pretty much cool uh, the battery backup of this ROM is also amazing because this is the stock and trade of pixel experience here we have the battery usage uh, you can also view the usage of uh, past 24 hours then we have battery saver from here you can also schedule the battery saver and you can also use the extreme battery saver mode right from here then we have adaptive preferences optimization profiles you can set it to any application you want so as you can see here several options are available so after it here we have storage 
sound and vibration in the sound and vibration we don't have any sound enhancer uh, sorry we have the mini sound enhancer pre-installed right here as you can see here you can use it and here we also have the hi-fi uh, it will decrease the noise and distortion and increase audio quality so this is a plus point for this room we also have the clear speaker pre-installed in this room then we have display in the display we have all options like other rooms here we have dark mode you can adjust the display size and text as you can see here from here you can also enable the high contrast text then you can also bold the text right from here so this is a plus point then we have night light which is working fine you can change its intensity and then we have light display you can change the color profile of this room and here we have auto rotation you can also enable the smooth display if you want to automatically switch the refresh rate to uh, 90 hertz from 60 hertz as you can see here you can also change the notch behavior tap to wake tap to sleep let's check if it is working as you can see here it is working fine so here we have a refresh rate per app then we have wallpaper and style accessibility security in this security the all security options are working like on screen locks are working fingerprint is working face unlock is also available as you can see here you can set the on screen lock plus face lock plus fingerprint at the single time so this one is also a plus point for this room and the security patch of this room is also pretty much latest so then we have privacy location safety emergency passwords and accounts digital webbing google system in the system we have languages and input, live translation, gestures. In the gesture we have quickly uh, quick tap to start action. Uh, you can just simply double tap on the back and it will uh, just uh, do the any task you want to do. Like uh, we will set it to take screenshot and uh, let's uh, double tap on it. And as you can see here, it is taking the screenshot as well so you can uh, set any action from these options like you can go to the digital assistant play or pause media see recent applications let's try this one and uh, as you can see here it is working pretty much cool so then we have quickly open camera system navigation bar one-handed mode which is also working fine you can operate the whole screen by using only one hand then we have lift to check and press and hold power button swipe three finger for screenshot quick torch prevent ringing then we have buttons as you know this is the pixel experience plus edition that's when we get some of the customizations in this room as you can see here from the buttons you can change the system navigation bar edge long swipe action some other uh, volume and power button actions are available then we have status bar from here you can enable or disable the uh, network monitor then you can manage the system icons for, for the status bar tap to sleep you can change the clock position as well you can you can show or hide the am pm style then you can change the battery status style you can also change the battery uh, uh, battery percentage style then we have other options for the brightness then we have date and time backup uh, system updates rules multiple users so because this is an official update that's mean you will get the system updates from this option so after it at the end we have about phone from the about phone you can check this it's android version which is the android 13 security patch of this rom is 5 november 2022 which is also latest and the rom is pretty much stable there is no any single bug or issue in this rom everything is just working fine let me show you like why bluetooth is working so Bluetooth is working fine, Wi-Fi is working fine, uh, network, uh, mobile data like LTE is working fine and uh, hotspot is also working. Let me show you by going into the settings, hotspot, uh, here we have the hotspot, you can enable it and it is working pretty much good as you can see here the uh, logo of it. So. This ROM is completely stable and it can be used as your daily driver. So if you want to install this ROM, just download the ROM from the link in the description and simply reboot your device into the uninstalled custom recovery. So just format the data and 
install the pixel experience plus downloaded rom and you are ready to go this is pretty much simple the installation process is pretty much simple like other roms so i am not going to show it because it's going to take a little bit time so this was the video for this rom i hope you guys like this video if you really did hit the like button don't forget to subscribe my channel keep supporting thanks for watching peace